Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be covering Algorand and providing a market outlook on this token. So I will be going over where I think it's headed over the next few weeks and months, and um, I hope you guys enjoy. So if you do enjoy and you want to show some support to the channel, please leave a like and subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. All right, so I'm on a weekly chart right now, so each candle represents one week of price action. And I kind of just want to outline how we had this general uptrend that we were in for quite some time. We were in this from uh, March of 2020 up until you know the end of 2021. So for quite some time here. And then we, when we broke below this, it's just kind of been um, in this pretty harsh decline. We, we've so far dropped 57% over 105 days. So quite significant there. And you can see how it, it's definitely changed the overall market structure and trend, right? We, we were having these higher lows, higher lows, higher highs and it was pretty consistent right we we you know we were moving up fairly uniformly right but then when we broke below this trend line it you know we took out these lows we're forming lower lows guys and and we have this pretty dominant downtrend right where where price is just getting pushed down and each high is lower than the previous high so you can see how here on the week of um march 28th we we peaked at you know like a dollar Whereas, you know, some of these highs were, were up at almost $2. So quite significant on the on the weekly chart. You can see how the, the overall trend has definitely broken. We are no longer in an uptrend. And I just kind of want to highlight another area to look out. So we have this kind of 62 to 56 cent region that has acted as major as a major area in the, in the past. So you can see how in 2019, this was ultimately where we found a few green candles and bounced for a little bit and then ultimately we, we pushed lower <clears throat> and then we almost got back up to this level in early of 2020 but we were unable to to get that far and then later on in 2020 when when we tested it again we were rejected pretty sharply but at least we formed a higher low and then later on as we as we closed started closing above it we went on a pretty significant run in just a few weeks we we pumped about 200 percent so obviously very significant and the the important thing i want to notice is how we are back at this level again so i think that you know we could see an intermediate bounce so we could see another one of these kind of short-term bounces off of this level just given how how historically it has acted as you know major support and major resistance so you could see a bounce similar to this one, but ultimately, if we start closing below this area, I think it's going to be pretty bearish. And I think that, you know, we could see some of these lower levels towards the 35 cent region where we have like a, a big cluster of price action, right? There's really not much um, between where we are now and 35 cents. So I think you should be watching out for that and especially considering um, where Bitcoin is headed. So if you see Bitcoin lose the $35,000 level, then you would assume that most likely a lot of alts are going to be losing their support. And specifically for Algorand, I think it would be losing this general green region here, which would be very bearish, especially if Bitcoin is staying below 35,000. Because the more bearish Bitcoin is, the harder it is for altcoins to to even keep up with Bitcoin, right? If Bitcoin's going to drop 10%, most altcoin, altcoins would drop around 20%, for example. So definitely consider the risk on this and keep an eye out on Bitcoin because Bitcoin is going to mainly determine where this is headed over the next few weeks and months. And that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you in the next one.